Hi, this is G Singh again, giving you, well, our second uh, major video for the Western Long Boxing series on uh, Tai Chi and Qi Kong. Um, this one is the Three Treasures video. It's going to show basically how you uh, go about working yourself, uh, warming yourself up to get into a good long seated position that can last anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour of breathing sequences and techniques and then how you would rise up from there into standing positions which would be standing qigong um, postures that we practice actually connecting to a circular object um, a little unique at least into, to, for the more commercial aspects of uh, qigong and tai chi but uh, you'll see us do this and the emphasis on hug the tree and uh, hold the kettle which is a squatting motion and repeated action on that plus some iron body techniques that you will see use uh, uh, by rolling the body on the ball on the uh, just basically on the uh, parts of the body that require it along the torso and legs um, for stimulation and for healing actually for building fascia and connective tissues um, between the muscles allowing you to become an awful lot stronger than you normally know, be especially as a pugilist this exercise is mostly for pugilists and we'll go over that too in a second also you'll get a chance to see uh, some more silk uh, standardized silk building technique that you saw in the first video and you'll see this again in a second again nothing more than a blueprint for what you may already know or what, what you may need to know there will be a separate uh, video on just silk reeling the techniques and what it's for how it's about and then the background on it based on the lexicon of information that's being grown in the Temple Underground radio show system where information that would normally not be explained from an interdisciplinary, intersystemic um, uh, perspective with regard to building information within yourself and applying it to what you already know. Uh, this is what we'll be doing, this is what we'll be talking about. And of course, you know, um, something that you'll be able to, uh, again, add to your kit of skills. Um, going over the sequence again, you're going to see a warm-up of what we do, um, that uh, specifically for individuals who require, who have a hard time sitting. Some people can sit without even trying. Others have to work real hard to get into, to get their mindset and their body set, to get their lower dantian open enough to be able to sit for a long time using the breathing methods technique. Some people contemplate when they sit to use to find stilling meditation and be, let this be known, we are working on stilling meditation techniques still. Stilling meditation. Um, again, and the focus on the kidneys, making sure the kidneys uh, are, being, are being exercised and being found functional and being found uh, getting in shape, um, making it stronger and powerful. So uh, first you'll get the warm up and uh, after the warm up is done, uh, you'll uh, get into the seated uh, techniques, alternate nasal breathing, uh, Kampalabhate, which is a uh, uh, fast breathing, uh, breathing kind of like this, where the lower abdomen is being pushed back and forth uh, very quickly. Um, you're working in the cinnabar fields, which you can read about in my book, um, Western Long Boxing, The Art of Integration, sorry, uh, Integration of Vedic and Taoist Pugilistic Internal Alchemy. And um, once you get that part, this, once you get past the the Kampalabhate, which is a, a, a Vedic term for getting the, uh, the, the, the body warmed up and getting the blood moving uh, to the furthest reaches of the, uh, of the uh, extremities. And then after that, uh, you'll see me uh, go into alternate nasal breathing, uh, balance breathing with the analoma viola, um, balance breathing, um, where we have uh, no, no suspension of air, intake of air, um, the uh, retention of air and then the exhalation of air all done in a count even count for each one and then after that you'll see me do ratio breathing uh, quite long um, where it's a one to four to two ratio my ratio normally starts at uh, uh, nowhere in the lungs for about 12 seconds and then um, a 12 count and then uh, actually more of a 16 count and then a 16 count for uh, breathing in for breathing in air and then a uh, Four times 16, which is, I don't know if you go to this, I think it's a, 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 a third, that would be uh, 16, it's, uh, probably 72, <laughs> something like that. 16, what's it? 
15, 15, 15, that's 60 plus, uh, 60 plus, um, four, 64. So it would be a 64 count. So it would be, um, uh, in for 16 count, 64 count, and then, uh, uh, 42, uh, 32 count, uh, coming back and, uh, for exhalation. And, uh, so that's what, uh, that's my count normally. And then when I get really, really, juices are flowing, I'm really good. And I actually forget to breathe. It gets much longer than that. But at that point, we're going to different stages of development, of mental development. And this is a consistent thing that allows you to actually, uh, change behavior. And, uh, this is important. Behavior, of course, is, um, the main thing, the main way we observe progress in, uh, sports psychology and, uh, the educational aspects of sports psychology. Um, in educational psychology, it is behavior that is being observed. That's in behavior that's being compared. And by that comparison, uh, you have measurements of improvement or degradation. And that's how we do business. Um, in the idea that you are actually working, um, in the still meditation modes, you are going to be controlling degradation of the body system by improving the body, improving the way you get functions and to consciously do so. This is by far the most potent aspects of internal outline for the Western long boxing system, and it's the foundation for everything you do. So in this video, everything you see, okay, is a foundational tool. And the reason why I say three treasures, and call it three treasures, uh, there are lots of ways of calling things three treasures. You have the Shaolin aspect of calling three treasures through the yin, yin, uh, jing technique uh, from the 18 Lohan Palm that the, in the Temple Underground Radio Series, um, who do we do with uh, Neil Ripsky? It's discussed as a muscle changing classic, the uh, bone, cha bone marrow cleansing classic, and then the uh, 18 Lohan Palm, uh, 18 Palm Lohan uh, martial art or Qigong technique. Um, in the sense that I mean the three treasures, I'm talking about the gathering of essence, uh, the uh, which is the, the sexual aspects of the body, regeneration, gathering regeneration forces, uh, taking that and returning it to regenerate the body. And then taking the, that, turning that the, the essence into energy, and then uh, refi re refining that essence into energy, and then cultivating that energy into vitality, which is the, uh, the ability to make everything thread together. As Sifu Ripsky spoke, and speaking about one of his shows, the Voodoo Video, uh, weaving the golden thread. Okay, making sure that uh, first of all the six harmonies of uh, hip and hip and shoulder are uh, moving in first in connection, but moving uh, one before the other, and then the uh, elbows and knees, and then the wrists and ankles, all moving in sequence, coalescing into a whip of action, where one precedes the other, and culminates into a spherical point power. And uh, the exercise that you see we, uh, we're doing here helps build the foundation for that linking, but first as a manifestation of will. The ability to uh, to focus so much on the threat, even while you are doing your warm up, that once you go into your seated meditation, you are good to go, and you can hold it there for quite a long time, longer than most could in existing mode of reality. Then you go into the um, the pole standing techniques, uh, the, the swan dunk, where you are actually uh, holding a ball, a 12 pound, 15 pound ball, in the hold the tree, and then and, and then into the uh, Hug the tree and then into the uh, squatting techniques of hold the kettle. And then you'll be doing an iron body technique of rolling your whole body on that ball. Okay, getting the body, uh, stimulating all the meridian points of the body and uh, building fascia, which is a connective tissue between uh, parts of the body, making yourself strong. And in, in Western terms, you'll be getting a strong core. And then after that, uh, we're going to the silk room where you are now, you're really seated, you've uh, accumulated, gathered the essence. In standing, you have demonstrated the uh, refinement of energy, and then in the in the uh, in the actual um, in the actual uh, uh, silk rilling, you are showing your ability of vitality by weaving the golden thread together and showing how the body doesn't push into position, but that how you are pulling your body into different positions, uh, maximizing the effect of substantial and substantial. So that's what it's all about today. Uh, please listen to the uh, listen to what you uh, the narrative voiceovers, and also please uh, um, pay attention to the notes that are on there. They're for your attention and for your understanding. If you need to get information from me, if you.
unique. Of course, on the uh, on the comments and on the description of the of the show, you can get all the information to reach me. But if you should uh, need to do it during the show again, uh, you can reach me at the uh, HIC uh, Elder Beast HIC at Elder Beast LLC.com. You can reach me at Titus Song. Um, Titus Song. Um, Titus Song at AOL.com. Uh, you can call my phone number, which is, which is on the video. You can call that number, and uh, we can have, uh, and you can Skype me, which is at uh, Elderbeast59. Elderbeast59 is my Skype name. You can Skype, you can set, a, set an appointment up, and do a Skype, and do a Skype lesson, and get you going on this, okay? And there you have it. So I hope you have a good time with this video. Thank you.
How you doing today? This is G Singh, the raw one, bringing it to you live from Rutledge, Tennessee, talking about the voodoo we do in martial arts. And you know who I'm bringing to you. The only man that could even talk that type of stuff. That's Sifu Ripsky, Sifu Neil Ripsky, the Kung Fu guy. This is the gentleman just got through with a trip to Europe. He went to Italy, uh, taught a lot of people, got a lot of students, made a lot of friends, and learned a lot of stuff. This is the individual that's into uh, some really <laughs> esoteric Qigong. Um, but what's even more important is that his Qigong is part of his, of his Nejiago. It's all one and the same. He couldn't do what he does unless he had the health benefits that go that are the foundation for everything he does. And um, this kind of guy, normally guys that train like he does, this guy trains probably about eight hours a day. Probably a little more, probably more like 12 hours a day, okay? <laughs> and you know, he, he, actually something like this, even though he talks about the nurturing of the lower, middle, and upper jowl, he gets plenty of nurturing of the upper jowl, believe me, okay? Upper jowl nurturing, as Sifu Neil has taught us, is all about thinking. It's all about uh, using your mind. It's all about opening your mind up to new ideas. It's about nurturing that part of the body, those, that cluster of, of, of nerve endings and so forth. They give off, uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, I think it's a uh, gaso, a uh, gas, it's called like uh, gasometrics or whatever. It gives off this gas from the body. But the bottom line is this this guy spends so much time doing what he does. Why in the world would he be on a radio show? that pays him nothing. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why, okay? He's on this show because he really believes in what he's doing. He knows that he needs a bigger platform and this is a good thing. He does need a bigger platform, but the platform, the reason why he needs it is because he has so much freaking to say. He has so much to offer and so much to give and he realizes the key elemental rule of life, okay? Especially when you deal with other people and that is besides treating them the way you wanna be treated, you have to give if you want to get. And he wants to get, he wants to get his information out to you. By this, he empties his cup, and by emptying his cup, he has a whole fresh volume of space to fill with more knowledge. And these are the kinds of people that we have on Temple Underground Radio. People who are professionals, been doing it for 30, 40, 50 years. They are adepts not only in harming, but in healing arts. And more important than that, they are givers. We're asking you to give also. You need to give. You need to give to the cause that we talk about here. We need every show we have here, as I stated before in other shows, those who haven't listened, each show costs money. Each show costs anywhere between 250 to 400 bucks, sometimes $500 a show based on the sound production that we have to use. And without good sound production, if you've listened to the earlier shows and you listen to this show, you're gonna hear a whole big difference. Big difference in the sound production. Okay, it's a huge difference. Why do we want that? Because we need to give you a professional edge. We need to give you all the stuff to add to your kits. Some of you out there are regular practitioners. Some of you out there are, are hobbyists. Some of you out there are professionals. All of you tune into here to add stuff to your kit. And why shouldn't you? The information that this individual and individuals like him give is stuff that you cannot buy sometimes. You have to kind of like stand outside somebody's door for a year or two. And then they might give it to you. Okay, some of this stuff, okay, you might come across online somewhere, but then when you read it, you don't understand the stuff. Stuff like Jerry Allen Johnson's book on clinical Qigong. Nobody understands that unless you listen to a guy like this, okay? Uh, we're talking about uh, Tom Bissio's book on a tooth in a tiger's mouth. That's even more basic. It's called Combat Triage, Combat Sports Injury Book. But this knowledge is even more esoteric if you don't understand how the meridian system works, what the lower, middle, and upper jowl is, how the meridian flow goes, what actually are the meridians, okay? What is Zong Fu organs? What are these stuff? What are the yin and what are the yang organs? These shows teach this. Some of you kind of know, some of you have books that you've read, but can't remember a hit or tail of anything. These shows do, do that. So I, at the end of all this, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, okay? Please go and give to the Temple Underground fundraiser, okay? Help us help you give you better and better shows. Bring better and better and more knowledgeable individuals to teach and work with you. Again, I just want you all to know that we love you, and the reason why we do this show is because the people on here love you too, and they want to make sure that you have what they have and more. 
That being said, today we're talking about a whole bunch of stuff, okay? Even more stuff than we were talking about before our last show. We talked about the incredible information that I continuously throw out to other Qigong experts that go on the show. And that is the description of the middle, uh, the lower, middle, and upper jaw, what they're about, what they mean, and why they're important. Now he's going to apply all this information. Oh, he talked about that. Before that, he spoke about the, the yin, 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 which is a, a group of exercises that teach the body how to mend itself, how to become more powerful, not through muscular structure, and he gives it by example, but also through the fascia that grows through the body based on exercises that have to do with, um, I believe it's uh, eccentric, eccentric motions, um, isometric motions, and breathing. Okay, so all this stuff is, is working. He, and he gives this information out. He's building a lexicon. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you about that. If you listen to all the shows the Temple Underground Radio puts out, I mean, you actually listen to it, you're gonna hear a severe crossover. People who don't know each other in the medical and the harm in the in the uh, healing and the harming skills, okay, disciplines are crossing over with knowledge, filling in knowledge. That means Doctor Love, Sifu, uh, Doctor Love, Sifu, um, uh, Nubrevsky, Doctors uh, uh, Andrew Miles and Land Miles and more. All these cats are shifting and sliding information. Just like the basics for our the basics for our existence. The DNA molecule with spirals, these guys are spiraling information. Terminology, wisdom, knowledge, and application. All intermingling into something that's just amazing. Okay? You can't listen to one show, you gotta know. And you gotta really take notes. You gotta take notes on your pen and paper and you gotta ask questions. Okay, these guys are open to everything. I understand that Sifu Ripsky actually is getting into indiv- are getting individuals who are trying to join his uh, Facebook page and trying to find him out. Am I right there, Neil? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm trying to get people talking to me. He's talking to you because they want to understand. They really want to understand what's going on. That being said, okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk to him first introduce the, uh, an individual who has over 40 years of training. Okay, uh, individual that uh, sorry over 30 years of training. Um, individual that who uh, is trained in a lineage, okay, he is the only holder of information for a family, he's going to tell what family it is, for the Ma family, um, uh, Qigong, um, uh, Ma family, Samanist, Shamanistic Wu, uh, Microscopic Orbit, Microbes Orbit, Orbit um, the uh, Northern Shaolin methods that he knows that the family has taken and cultivated into something that is just beyond belief. He actually trains with an individual that he would not say, but based on what he showed me, based on what he's told me in the picture I just saw that he put out there on the internet, he's training with a cat that's on, he's on some deep stuff, man. He's on that other, he's on that there other. The guy is, he's like 80 years old and the cat looks younger than me, okay? I mean, he, might, he looks stronger than me, he looks younger than me, and that was a still picture. He kind of frightened me, okay? I can see myself bowing real low in his presence. My point is this, not because of him, but because of the energy that's flowing through it. And that energy now is, the, is, is in the custody of Sifu Neil Ripsky. And Sifu, I gave you as best one, uh, introduction as I could. <laughs> and I sure hope it was a good one. Was it good enough for you? Uh, yeah, I hope I can live up to it. <laughs> you better live up to it, man. I'm making money. I'm making money. I'm making money. Okay. <laughs> hey, um, what are we talking about today, brother? Well, I kind of figured that since uh, the first few shows we've been doing lots of foundations and things like that, that today I would start talking about um, the three treasures from Bodhidharma, and specifically the 18th Mm Ohanpong. That's what I figured we would do today, to start start that discussion. (laughs) So, yeah, basically, should I just get going, G? What do you think? I want you to outline the show. We're going to do the show in four parts. This is part one. Part uh, this is part one. Part two. What will we What will we be talking about? Okay. So what What we'll do first is I'll outline what the three treasures were from Bodhidharma. Okay. And then I'll start talking about what the 18 Lohan Palm is, where I got it from, its history, and then how it works. Okay. So let's do that. Kind of how it works. Okay. Let's do the uh, the the three treasures first because I got, I know I got a a ton of questions about that right there. That should take us at least 15, 20 minutes. Okay? And then we'll cut We'll cut and get a, you know, take a, take a pause for the cause, all right? And then come back and talk about the 18 Lohan Palm, right? You betcha. Okay? And that but that will be two and three. Uh, and then what, the fourth one we're going to summarize, okay? And try and make this stuff really, really solid for individuals. Make sure they know what the hell they got. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay, but Sounds perfect. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. We're going to take a pause for the cause right now. Okay, here's some stuff. And then we'll be back, okay? Come back with us. Ah! 
Are you a martial artist looking to get his name and style out to potential students? Do you have videos and books you need help selling to potential clients? Look no further. Temple Underground Magazine and Journal can provide you with all your publishing needs, from article publication to video and book sales via our store, Beetle Binders 2, in memoriam of Ed Martin Co. So if you're looking for publication and access to a larger audience, go to www.templeundergroundmagazinetum.com. That's www.templeundergroundmagazinetum.com. you deserve. Have you been training hard and long, but have very little recognition to show for it? Trained in multiple locations, only to be pushed back or frozen in achieving your goals? Look no further. The World Martial Arts College offers credit for all your efforts and experiences in martial arts. You submit credit for your experiences that you have received at various schools, certificates, seminars attended, books read, videos watched, tournaments you may have competed in, and any other form of training or educational experience related to martial arts. Turn it in to get certified accredited rank by the World Martial Arts College. Visit the World Martial Arts College website for various sanctioned seminars, our weekly sanctioned official radio blog, Temple Underground Radio, and read our officially sanctioned magazine. Temple Underground Magazine and Journal. Go to various workshops and events to further your training and experience. Get credit and recognition for all of your experiences. Receive school consultations and assistance in marketing your programs. The World Martial Arts College, in affiliation with the Tai Chi Connection, also gives access to our officially recognized radio, Temple Underground Radio, and our magazine, Temple Underground Magazine and Journal, for you to share the experiences with others in the world. Website and book publishing assistance is also available. Become a member of one of the most prestigious martial arts organizations today. Visit www.worldmartialartscollege.com. That's www.worldmartialartscollege.com. We are back for uh, round three. Uh, round three is the 18 low hand palm. Uh, if there was a time for you to get your, your pen and paper out, now's the time. Um, this is when he is going to give you some very, or somewhat specific, specific information 
uh, either for your um, edification or for an additional um, info set to add to your kit. Okay, so um, I use that word kit now because I am friends with Alan Stint. And Alan Stint has taught me that, that the, a kit is a, a toolbox, not a tool, but a toolbox <laughs> okay. that you use uh, that is descriptive of your skill set. So, um, again, uh, if you want to add this to your kit, please get your pen and paper out and let's get down to it. Hope you enjoyed the music. Hope you enjoyed the commercials. Hope you do something about it. And, uh, uh, maybe you can take time to get the donations. Okay. So now we're getting to the 18 low hand palm. That's some deep stuff, man. This is Wu Tang. This is Wu Tang stuff, dude. It's Wu Tang. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan. Okay. All right, brother. Give us the Raza. Give us the Raza. The man with two iron fists story. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> okay. So 18 low hand palm is made up of different levels of achievement and different practices so each one of them is all based on like one major idea and they're the major idea of the practice is to develop the kidneys so the reason for this in a nutshell is that the kidneys are the most yin of the yin organs and what that means is that without your kidneys you die your kidneys are the place where Mi'kma resides it's the place where the pre-heaven the inherited Huyuan Qi is located and when that runs out the timer's up so we want to keep the kidneys really really powerful and really well functioning and what that does is it means that you draw less frequently on your pre-heaven and this is how people end up looking younger and living longer so because you're not pulling on it all the time and you keep your body healthy the post-heaven can run most of the system so the 18 Lohan pump system is made up of three standing massages, three sitting massages, and then the meditation, and then the form itself. So the form itself is what's referred to as 18 low hand palms, 18 moves long. And each movement has a, basically a function. And overall, each of the movements correlates into one of the 18 low hands. Stop. You know what? That was smooth, brother. That was. You said you're not good on. Sorry, business. I can't hear you there, G. I see you talking, but. Uh... I said I'm sorry. Um, I'm playing with my boating balls. I didn't want them to make noise while you were talking. <laughs> so forgive me. Oh, I see. Okay, I want to focus. But um, I, you were you were rolling, man. You were rolling. I'm gonna stop you right there. You said there are three massages. Now, because of the my knowledge of the uh, uh, the eight seated brocade and how important that is to, to, you know, to the kidneys. As a matter of fact, the whole thing is about the kidneys. So, just about. So, that being said, I want to know a lot about these massages. For said the first, there's three sitting and three standing. Could you, you sure. know, real fast go through them? Just, I mean, this is what the show's about. It, Absolutely. It's cool. So, could you go through So, the first massages you learn are the standing massages. Okay. okay. And what you, what you would do normally is you would do the 18 low hemp long form, and then at the end of the form, instead of bowing, Right, you do some breathing first. So I'm gonna, I'll actually explain how to do this. So you take the fist and you cap the end of the fist over your index finger with your thumb. And you're standing, you close the eyes, and you breathe into the palms of the hands. So the idea here is that you take Lao Gong in the center of the palm and you just imagine it getting warmer. So each time you breathe out, Lao Gong heats up just that little bit as though you're blowing into your hands. It's like that, but you're standing with both both hands down to your sides, and it's all just in your mind. Oh, okay. So okay, as, okay, I, okay as I breathe out, it's like I imagine I'm breathing out through my palms. Oh, gotcha, 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 my gotcha, breath gotcha, warms gotcha, the palms gotcha, up. Gotcha, gotcha. So you take three, four, or five breaths until you notice that the palms are beginning to heat up. So the first massage is you go from the top to the bottom of the body. So the first massage is on the head. So if you have glasses, you take your glasses off, and you're breathing. And as you finish your an exhalation into the palms, you place the center of the palm over the eyes, and you breathe in. And you, when you're breathing in, it's like you're breathing in through your eyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I was breathing out through my palm, I breathe in through my eyes here, mm -hmm. okay? And then you run the hands down the face as though you were kind of, trying to explain this, uh, kind of like you're, you're mashing the flesh of the face, pulling it downwards. I got you, I got you, I got you. Keep going, that's good. <laughs> three of those mm -hmm. and then you take both your palms put them on the jawline mm -hmm. and pull across 
the jaw. Now each of these have to be done um, with some good pressure, but not speed. Everything's done very slowly. So the first one, of course, is that you're standing and you're imagining yourself breathing uh, three times each, I would say three times each palm, uh, I would assume, but uh, until you feel heat in the center of the palm, okay? Mm -hmm. Then after that, you uh, put them over your eyes, you imagine breathing out through your palms, and uh, sorry, in through your eyes and out through your palms, or in through your palms and out through your eyes, which one is it? You're going out of your palm, out of your palm, into your eyes. Into your eyes, got it, got it. And then the third one is the massage down the side of the face, okay, kind of yeah. with power, mashing the face downward. And then the other one is the last one was down your jawbone and pushing down the jawbone down like this. It doesn't matter if you got a beard, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter if you got a beard. Okay, you brother, you have a beard. Okay, go for it, go for it. Love it, love it. Okay. Keep going. So then once you've done the face, mm -hmm. then you cup the hand mm -hmm. and you slap starting at the top of Tianjin at the, the shoulder rounds, mm -hmm. on top of your trapezius, mm -hmm. and you you pat all the way down the top of the arm mm -hmm. and then up the bottom of the arm mm -hmm. into the armpit. Yeah. And then brush down your rib cage. Brush down your rib cage. And you do that on both sides. How many, time, how many times do I do that? How many times do I do that, brother? If, if you're doing it with the whole set, you just do that once. Okay. So you do how many times am I patting? I'm patting three times, six times, nine times. How many pat? How many? How many pats do I get? How many sweeps down do I get? Or is it just, just lots? Just lots. Until, yeah. It's just until it feels good. Number. Yeah. There's no real number. Just tons of it. Until it feels good. Yeah. Until it feels good. That thing exactly. you taught. The thing you taught before. You were saying the teacher was teaching you something with regard to the eight seated brocade, and you said no, the standing brocade. And you said, the doctor, you said, oh, I feel it here. And he goes, when do I stop? He said, well, when it stops feeling bad, that's when you stop. You keep yeah, going through exactly. Is, is that about the same thing? The same sort of thing, yeah. Okay, just keep going. It's good for you. Okay. You can't injure yourself with it. Wow. So then that's that's the first that's the first standing massage. Oh, that's cool. Got okay. Then you palm, what is it? Palm, palm, eyes, yep. down the side of the face, down the jaw. Okay, tap from the top of the shoulder, right where the trapezius muscle is, work it down the outside of the arm and back the inside of the arm and slap down the, down the rib cage underneath the armpit with the limbic set. Okay, you do it each side an even number of times, but you make sure you feel good when you're done. Exactly. Got it, brother. Go ahead. Okay, so then if you're doing the whole system, you do the 18 low hand palm form again. Okay, okay. Okay, so, and then same thing, the same beginnings. So you're standing and you're breathing out the palms of the hands so that the palms of the hands begin to warm up. Mm -hmm. Once the hands are warm, mm -hmm. for this one, you're going to be doing the middle of the body, the torso. Mm -hmm. So you breathe out the palms, then mm -hmm. place the palms on your kidneys, on your back, gotcha. and breathe in through your kidneys. Got it. Once you've breathed in through your kidneys, then you rub up and down on the kidneys 18 times. Up and down? Yeah. What part of your hand do you use, brother? Your palm, right on your palm. Got it, got it. Yeah, so you're standing with your palms kind of on your back. It's a little bit awkward at first, but it's... It's, it's actually flexi it's good flexibility for the shoulders. Mm -hmm. So you rub up and down, and again, it's not about speed. It's always about slow movements mm -hmm. with good friction. So you're actually... One of the things my teacher would always talk about is you're creating heat, always creating warmth. So you're looking for friction on the kidneys. You're warming up the kidneys. Okay, so once you've done the 18 of those, then you are going to do the belt meridian, the dye line, which is located basically right through your belly button, all the way around your body in a ring. And you take both of your hands on one side of your body, and you pull, so just like you did on your face, you're going to pull and massage by just stroking towards your belly button three times. Mm -hmm. So from the kidney both hand, both hands to are the one belly hand. button. Both hands are one hand. Both hands, both, both hands on the same side. Kind of looks like this when I'm looking at it. Um, I think you saw me doing some work on that when I was sitting down. I was pulling over here. I just like, like that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Just That's like that. Yeah. You know, you do know this is cool stuff, right? Yeah, you, can put, you, can, you can put some. I'm gonna put some music to this stuff. Get that stuff going, yeah, brother. It's that little really intense stuff. Go on, brother. Speak, speak on it, speak on it. This is good religion. This is a. Hey, if I gotta call some a religion, not a faith, but a religion, something I can do religiously to make sure that I become a better person. This is good religion. Keep going, brother. <laughs> Keep going. So you do three times on each side. So you pull towards your belly button on each side mm -hmm. three times. And then again, you cup the hand like you did before, and then you do the patting. So the same thing, pat all the way from one side of the belt meridian by the kidney, uh -huh. around your belly button to the other kidney, and then back. Oh, uh, can I, I'm not, if you're, on, if you're not that flexible with the pat, can you use the back of your hand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you can get yeah. it down like that? 
you bet. Okay. That's okay. Got it. Then that's the second one. That's the second massage. Come on now. This is cool. <laughs> so then cool. you would do the 18 low hem palm a third time. Got it, got it. And this massage starts again the same way. So you're standing, hands capped with the thumbs, and then breathing into the palms of the hands so that the hands warm up again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So once you've done a few breaths, the hands are nice and warm. You're going to breathe out the palms of your hands, put your palms on your kneecaps, mm -hmm. and breathe in through your knees. Are you standing or are you sitting, brother? You're still standing. Got it. So all the standing massages, yeah. So you breathe in through the kneecaps. Okay, and this is because the knees are a major gate. They're a major blockage point, usually in the meridians. Because, I mean, knees are tough. They're kind of they're kind of a tough thing to cultivate and they're easy to damage. So you breathe in through the knees. <laughs> and then, as you do that, right, as you take your first exhalation, you start to squat down. And as you're squatting down, you're rubbing your knees. So you're rubbing in a circle with the palm of the hand on the kneecap. So you're again, just like you did with the kidneys, you're warming them up. Outside in or inside out? What is it? Or maybe um, both. Inside of the knee to the outside of the knee. Inside to the outside. Got it, brother. Yep. So you're doing that and you're squatting down. Mm -hmm. And once you've squatted all the way down, and ideally you're in a full-on poo-poo squatting stance. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. You've been rubbing the knees with both hands. Mm -hmm. Then you grab onto one knee with both of your hands mm -hmm. and reach towards it with your nose. So you're trying to give your knee a kiss. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for keeping me and not killing me and letting me walk. And then you reach over to your other knee, do the same thing. Dude, that's just cool, cool. Yo. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I'm sorry. I got to try this one. Okay, so I'm yeah, sure. That's just cool. <laughs> I'm down there. Feet are flat on the ground, right? Yeah, feet are flat, yeah. Then I reach over. <laughs> G and I are on Skype right now. That's why he's doing it. That's right. Yeah, reach over this one. Reach over this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, once you, Ooh, once you stretch to each one of the knees, yeah, yeah. You, just, you start to stand back up. Uh -huh. You start patting the knees. So you start just, you know, cupping the hand the same way, and you're patting into the knees mm -hmm. and standing up. So once you've stood all the way up and you've been patting the knees over and over, mm -hmm. then there's one more part to this. You're going to slap into Huan Tiao, which is right in the middle of your buttock, with the cupped hand, and then you rub down the outside of the leg Ooh, and the wind gate. inside. You rub that wind gate. The wind gate down the thigh, outside thigh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you rub down the outside of the thighs, all outside of the legs, mm -hmm. and then up the inside. Inside. Of the yeah. Down the outside, up the inside. So you do three of those. One, two, three. And then you've done all three of the standing massages. And that's like typical daily practice if you're not doing the whole system every day, is that you would do the 18 low high palm, first massage, 18 low high palm, second massage, form again, third massage. And you're about to discuss the 18 low hand palm with regards to the 18 postures, am I correct? A little bit, yeah, as best I can. The best you can. So I'm gonna get a little bit to Tell me something, okay? I don't know the 18 low hand palm, but you just taught me this massage technique, which I know works. I got no doubt it works. Matter of fact, I like that, then I like the uh, standing uh, April cake. I, I like it better, okay? Because it's really attends to what you really need, okay? That being said, um, if in between that, what I did was silk reeling, okay? I silk reeled in between each one. I have a silk reeling set, I do it, and then I go through each one of those sets. Would that be something that might, I'm not gonna say it's everywhere, anywhere near what you're talking about, but for those of us who can't get access to Dr. Professor Chen, or you, okay, would that be good enough? Yeah, that'd be great, absolutely. I mean, anything that gets the, gets everything moving will be good. Connecting. I mean, uh, is it moving or weird and specific? So moving anything. or connecting? Because that one, you, you're that big. You're the guy who changed and, and really put on record and noticed all the other guests that talk about chi. Because when you talk about chi, you said, no, nah, chi's a relationship in character and everything else. Okay. If you don't understand a relationship, you don't got it. You gotta understand that concept. And so that being said, connectivity is everything. I gotta connect. Absolutely. Okay, so anything that helps me connect from top to bottom, okay, this, middle, and lower, I'm good to go. Absolutely. All right, brother, I got you. Absolutely. I got you. So then there's the form. Yes, sir. So the form is, I mean, obviously we're on the radio, so I can't just demonstrate it for well, you. Hey, well, guess what, guess what, guess what? We're at 15 minutes. Believe it or not, that massage thing took 15, okay? okay? And, and 
that was good. I mean, people out there, let's, let's, let's get down. I'm not the best of students, okay? But I'm, I'm okay. All right, so let's get, let's get this down. First thing is talk about the first part, and we can correct it, all right? This is so important. It's important because we got to get this. I got two minutes, okay? First, okay, you're breathing out the palms. Once you get the palms heated up, breathe out the palms. You ain't touching them. You're not rubbing them. You're just breathing out. Once you get through with that, you breathe out the palms. Put the palms on your eyes. Okay, breathe out the palms. In through the eyes. After that one, do it until it feels good. After that one, take the hands that are warm. Rub down the outside of your face from the top to the bottom. Okay, outside of your face, the top to the bottom, until it feels good. And get down to that jawline, same thing. Keep doing it until it feels good. Okay, once I've done that, my first set is done. Okay, I go through my set. If I, oh, oh, got that right. Okay, next time, the fourth part of that is I'm tapping on my trapezius muscle on each line, on each, on each arm, and then I'm sliding my arm down the outside of my arm and down the inside of my arm and sliding back down. So basically, here, here, and down. Okay, outside, inside, uh, right where the, right where the um, your, your armpit is, and down the side of your body. I do both sides, do it till I'm done. That's my first set, and that's just my head. Once I get through with that, my next thing is I do an exercise. I only have silk really, and the, the seafood said that's good to go. So long as it's connecting everything, and it's warming the body, and getting things moving, we're good to go. Next, but if you get the 18 low hand palm, which you can learn, if you go to Seafood Ripsky in the summertime, go down to his place, he will teach it to you. Okay, he will also teach you in the new book he's got coming out, which we might be uh, being able to sell. So make sure you got that squared away. After that, this is the second part. You want to go to the rib cage. I should want to go down to the body. You're going to take your palm on one side of your body to the outside of the kidneys. Oh, kidneys first. And what's, what's the first thing to do with my kidneys there, see, fool? What's so this is the one where you're breathing out into I'm the breathing, palms? I'm breathing, right, breathing out into the palms, and then I put my hands on my kidneys. Okay. And breathe in through your kidneys. Breathe in through my kidneys, out through my palms. Once that gets done, I move over to the right hand side or left hand side of my body, and I'm going to wipe, massage with both hands, massage the energy towards the center of my navel. Okay, on both sides of it until it feels good. After that, seafood, there's something else I was going to do. You tap. All right, I tap from the kidneys all the way around the body to the navel and back, and then the other way around, all the way down to the navel and back. Once I get that done, that's my second set that I have done. I go and do it again, 18 low hand palm or an exercise that connects the entire body. So it might be it. Then I got my third set. And my third set is kind of complicated. This is where I need some help, okay? Same thing, breathing through your palms. Once you breathe into your palms, okay, you're going to actually lean, put your arms down and put your hands onto your knees. And you're going to rub your knees from the inside to the outside. And you're going to keep doing that until you're able to lower your body lower and lower and lower until you're into a full squat. Now, what is the legs? What is the what is the, what is the leg spread on this seafood on the squat? Well, it's going to be different depending on your ability, but ideally, it's about uh, shoulder width. Shoulder width up there, and the feet are flat on the ground. Am I correct, seafood? Yeah, feet are flat on the ground, okay? Once this takes place and you feel flat on the ground, the next step you're gonna do is you're going to reach over, okay? Once you've done it, you, you massage it, you're good to go, everything's warm. You're going to reach over with both hands and you're gonna pull yourself with breathing, nice and easy breathing, not gonna push, until you can actually breathe on and kiss your left or right knee, okay? Mm -hmm. Once this is done, you're going to slowly but surely stand up, am I correct? Make sure you do both knees first. Both, both knees first. Then you're going to slowly but surely stand up and you're going to take your palms again and you're going to put them on your on the cup middle of your butt cheek or your, your, your butt cheek. You're going to massage that and then you're going to massage all the way down your leg. Okay, down the outside yep. of your leg. You're going to do that on both sides. Am I correct? And then once you've done it down to the, out the wind gate to the knee, then you're going to go all the way down the leg and then back up the center of the leg. Okay, until it feels good. Once this is done, okay, you can do your last set of, uh, no, that would be your last set, okay? That would be the that last, last set, set yeah. of, your, of your stuff, and you've done the thing. See, did I miss anything? Nope, that's it. That's, that's, that's it right there. Okay. Those three sets, and if you do them um, with breaks in between, you're going to find that I think they, they seem to be more effective. But um, if you have less time, you can always do something to warm yourself up. Do some qigong, do some kind of training, and then do all three sets in a row because it goes from top of the body to the bottom. So you should do the. If you, um, you can break them up into what I just spoke about and do the mm -hmm. the, the, the cheap. You can do the the uh, the eighteen low hand palm or silk rolling in between each one, or you can do all of them at one time. 
Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And then and then do and then I was there, I guess you would do your exercise, do them all at one time, and then go into another exercise, and, and then that would be fine. I'm thinking um, maybe the next exercise might be a sitting one, but I'm not sure. Um, it would sound, it would feel like it might be, because that would be cool. <laughs> it, would sound, it sounds pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. It's been 20 minutes, and we'll be back. And pause for the cause. Listen to some good music. Listen to some commercials. Okay, go buy some stuff. Buy some stuff. We need the money. And after that, okay, we'll be back for the last part. And believe me, guys, <laughs> if I said $300 an hour, I wouldn't be too far off for getting this information. Remember, I said that, and you're getting it for free. Remember that too. Attention all practitioners of traditional Japanese and Korean martial arts, Karate, Wudak Kwan, and Taekwondo. Are you looking for something to give your martial arts the extra edge? Well guess what? You can find it in the book, The Art of Western Tai Chi Chuan, the supreme ultimate and sweet science of boxing with ten limb by Master Gajot K. Singh. Go to www.templeundergroundmagazinetum.com or amazon.com and buy this book that merges the 13 strategies of Tai Chi Chuan into the basic tactics of Western boxing to give your martial art that extra edge. Once again, go to www.templeundergroundmagazinetum.com and pick up this book now.
Are you a martial artist looking to get his name and style out to potential students? Do you have videos and books you need help selling to potential clients? Look no further. Temple Underground Magazine and Journal can provide you with all your publishing needs, from article publication to video and book sales via our store, Beetle Binders 2, in memoriam of Ed Martin Co. So if you're looking for publication and access to a larger audience, go to www.templeundergroundmagazinetum.com. That's www.templeundergroundmagazinetum.com. Okay, we're back with the last part of the Voodoo We Do with Sifu Ripsky. Dudes, I sure hope you enjoy the music. I hope you love the commercial and do something about it and help it uh, made you and uh, motivated you to go and do something to help and support us. But I really hope you took pen and paper out and took the notes down on the last session. Anyone who has the uh, six healing sounds, anyone that has the AC to or the standing bouquet, who does not have this is missing out on a pearl. Okay, and also a family treasure. Professor Chen's treasure to the world, his lineage, so to speak, and this is his voice. Sifu Neil Ripsky talking about the 18 low hand. Do us right, brother. Okay. So, because we're running out of time, yes, sir. Yes, sir. we're, we're going to do more than one show on this for sure. No problem. I really no problem. like to document everything. Sure, but sure. let's talk about the 18 low hand plot then. So, the set itself is 18 movements long. Mm -hmm. Each one of the movements has got uh, a running theme through it about the kidneys. Mm -hmm. So, because I can't demonstrate those movements over the radio, mm -hmm. what I thought I would talk about is just a few of the key points when you're practicing. So, the first one is actually the position of the palm for the 18th palm. So, if you take your hand and you cross your thumb over as though you were trying to touch your pinky finger with it, mm -hmm. you have what's called the uh, ox tongue palm. This is like a Shaolin hand shape. But what's interesting is because Sifu's a doctor, he talks a lot about how different types of movements are related to different types of organs. So you can actually test somebody's organ system by touching different parts of their body. So actually if you do this exercise and you take you take this position, if you touch the muscle that your thumb has is right underneath your thumb in this position, mm -hmm. the stronger this muscle is, the stronger the kidney is on that side. Uh -oh. So this is, so I have my right hand up, this is my right hand kidney. If I do my left hand, that's my left hand kidney. And this is actually one of the tests when, when I was training with him, or when actually when he meets my students when we go up to Edmonton, what he'll do is he'll hand shake their hand and then he'll get them to make a low hand palm and he'll start poking at their fingers, poking mm -hmm. at their thumbs. And this is what's interesting about the way things are built in Chinese medicine. You treat the body to treat the mind, treat the mind to treat the body. So, if the representation of the kidney is here in this thumb muscle, that means that if I work on this thumb muscle, I work on the kidney. Because they're interrelated. So this is why the palm shape becomes so, so, so important. So, when I first started training, what he would do is he would actually make me take a playing card and stick it under my thumb so that I had to hold the playing card in place, which hurt like hell. <laughs> but it made that thumb muscle start to grow, right? And then as things change, it opens things up. But again, 18 low hand palms, it's actually really complicated. So let's just talk a little bit about, now that we've got the hand shape, why the hand shape becomes so important, not just for the kidney. So this is a very unusual way of looking at the body. But the six meridians, Okay, so everybody knows that there's 12 meridians, but all the 12 meridians have got upper and lower connections to one another. So from a certain standpoint, you can look at 12 as though they were six. Okay, that's where the six meridian idea comes from. And I'm not gonna get into all that this time. Maybe next show we'll do that. Now, each of the meridians, this is pure low hand stuff. Each of the meridians, you have to treat it as though it's a river. So now there's water flowing in all of these rivers. And when you do certain types of movements, so most of low hands movements has to do with moving the wrist. So when I cock my wrist backwards or leftwards or rightwards, what I'm doing is I'm creating a dam in a river. And on the other side, I'm opening the dam in the river. So what low hand pump does is it creates pressure in the meridians. So a river gets backed up during a movement, pressure builds as though you took a garden hose and pinched it off, and then you release the dam. 
So this is like you're trying to basically, again, garden hose is a good analogy. If you had dirt in your garden hose, you could pinch it off, let the pressure build in the water, and then release all the pressure to blow out all the crap. And that's how 18 low hemp pump is, works as a healing art. Is all throughout the movements in the entire form, between the ankles and the wrists, you dam up all of the meridians and release them at different times. So that the, the meridian, each meridian gets a chance to blow itself clean. That's kind of the plan here. Ooh-wee. So the reason that this palm shape again comes into play is because Lao Gong, in the center of the palm, is a huge chi mission point. So chi leaks out of that palm basically all of the time. That's why we use it for for chi healing. That's why we use it for you know striking people and stuff like that. So when you make the ox tongue palm, you've created a dam. You've closed that particular point off. So again, it's allowing pressure to build in the system. It's the same thing with putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth. It's the same thing with closing the perineum. And that's all taking place when you're doing low hands. You close the perineum, the tongue goes on the roof of the mouth, and you make the ox tongue palm, and the system becomes a closed system. So pressure, which is normally leaking out of these points, which is natural, you're stopping it on purpose. So pressure starts to build. Then you move the wrist into the different positions. The wrist builds pressure in a particular meridian. And then you let the dams move and open and close and blow the whole system up. Does that make sense? Dude, it makes more than sense. Let me get this straight straight because some of the things are actually old news to people. And some of the things, but the importance is very important. Very, very significant. Let's go from top down. Okay, first, okay, you, everyone knows to put the tongue and move the mouth, complete the, re- complete the circuit from governor to conception. Second, you usually, when you're breathing in, you usually do clamp off the uh, the anus, okay, so that you build pressure. People know that, okay? They even drop the chin so they can lock it. It's called uh, bande in, in baby form. I don't know what it's called and do not, but I'm sure they do it. And then last but not least, this idea of the kidney connected to the meaty part of the thumb, down where the palm's at, and that you actually form, I don't know, it's like you're, it's almost like a code book, okay? That you're trying yeah. to reach, you're trying to reach the, you're, you're attempting to reach the thumb, sorry, the pinky, okay, with the thumb, okay? Yeah. And this builds a pressure up that builds up, I guess, affecting the kidney. And then once it's done and you open it, the kidney opens. I'm sure there's some associated breathing with this also, some of the, the breathing, I guess, that they, whether you don't call the generals, but one where you bottom hip breathe and you open up the, and a bell shape, you open up the lower back and you open up the lower ribs. Okay, and you do this constantly with each of the movements that you have discussed it, and I don't even want you to. But I do want because I want them to come see you. <laughs> okay, but I do want to. And so did I hit it right? Did I hit it right on the nose? Thumb, it, thumb, ass. Excuse me. I'm gonna say it. We all. That's my show. Thumb, ass, and tongue. We're good to go. <laughs> Those are the blocking <laughs> points. All right, we're good to go. Go ahead. This is just unbelievable. Okay, so the whole system is based on this idea of. Creation of pressure and release of pressure. This is the whole, the whole like palm form system. Now, there's one other thing. Since you're mentioning the the low hat palm, the uh, the ox tongue palm, the thumb thing. If you look at this, if you look at your palm, this is very cool actually. The meaty part of the thumb now mm-hmm. is related to the kidneys. Yes, sir. Lao Gong. What's Lao Gong related to? It's the heart. Yeah, the heart. yeah. Where's it Where's it comes? Right, right, right. Now, now you're. Now we're back to the really ancient classic secret of the golden flower. Go ahead. I don't know, wait, man, I don't know about golden flower. You're talking like that Wu-Tang stuff that Rasa talks about in the video. What, what's the heart? You're talking about the heart? What is this? Talk to me now. Yeah, the secret of the golden flower mm-hmm. is it's actually very, that's going into Taoist lore, yeah. That's okay, talk but one of the things that it talks about is it talks about moving energy from the kidneys to the heart and the heart to the kidneys. Okay. So there's something in Chinese medicine called the ferrying function like ferrying energy from one place to another. Mm -hmm. And it's ferrying fire and water. So it's to create balance in the body, right? So if there's a good ferrying function in the heart and the kidneys, the body neither gets too cold nor too hot. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? Well, one of the the meditation techniques is to actually imagine the heart as the sun setting into the ocean of the kidneys. So you bring the kidneys and the heart together, and that's what you're doing in your palm, is you take the kidney and you move it to your heart. So this actually helps to affect the ferrying function of the heart and the kidneys. So this helps to bring balance as far as heat and cool, right? Fire and water in the body. Dude, 
Dude, oh, stop, stop, this is cool. Okay, for example, so I'm, say I'm sitting down, okay? I'm, I'm doing my cross, I'm doing my meditation in the morning, okay? Got it? You're actually talking about the four corners, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the four, they call it the four corners, that's what Dr. Miles says. He says, heart and kidneys are connected, lung and liver are connected. And he, he, he said those two things, so that's, instead of thinking of the yin and yang connections, think of the yin connections as they pertain to each other. And you just gave a very, a pearl, you just said, yo, and you're seated, I'm assuming it's standing or seated, but if I'm seated, right? And I got my hands out, okay? And I, and I do the oxtail palm. And I am that, and I'm doing my, my, my visual, I'm not breathing, I'm just imagining, I'm just breathing all. And I'm imagining the sun setting, first rising in my heart and setting into my kidneys, okay? I'm doing some, I'm doing some cool shit, right? Yeah, that's some heavy stuff. That's secret to the golden flower stuff. No! Okay, I'm sorry, man. Anybody, anybody listening to this kind of stuff, and you gotta understand. You, I mean, I, you know, I've never met Neil. Okay, I never met him. Okay, uh, not personally. I, mean, I know the guy. She's probably know what clothes he wears every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. I, mean, I watch. I see him all the time. Technology's wonderful. But the, the, the issue here is, is that uh, he's teaching something that I'm telling you right now is for real. Now, if you're, if you, if, hey, if you're a punk, punk ass bitch, I'm gonna say, if you punk ass bitch. Okay, and you ass talking shit, and you really ain't doing shit. I mean, you really don't fuck. If you're not, if you don't have the time to do what you gotta do. Hey, this ain't for you. I'm gonna tell you, it's not for you. Okay, but if your ass is actually sitting down meditating 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, you're doing your silk ruling every day. You're doing your forms every day. You're pushing hands once or twice a week, and you're trying to get yourself to that next level. This is the shit. This is what you want to know. If you know the eight amp, the, the eight brocade standing and sitting, if you know the six healing, the six healings, you know, and you're saying, what's next? This is next. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Talk that stuff. Okay, I know we're starting to run out of time here. Uh, we got we got five minutes, but here's the deal. You were talking, okay, how about this? Because this needs to be another hour and a half show. Yeah, we'll, this we'll is we'll break this into pieces. Yeah, yeah, because this is cool. You just gave out three pearls, though, brother. You just said, now, what's that thing we talk about? The heart setting. This is the secret to the golden heart. Secret to the heart. Oh, it's a book, yeah. The secret of the golden flower. The secret of the golden book. flower, which, of course, is to, is to, to maintain homeostasis in the body, to keep homeostasis very strong. And then you gave us a thing about the locking and the releasing based on hoping the kidney with the, with the oxtail palm, okay? By the way, you didn't say what the release of the oxtail palm. I'm assuming it's an open palm. I don't know. Yeah, it's just opening up, yeah. It's opening yeah, up. To, open, to open that, it's just to open it. And in the middle of the form, you actually do that. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then we covered the three massages, the three standing massages. Oh, yeah, we did. You just, you just put out about oh, $2,000, $5,000 worth of information. Now, here's the deal. We do have time. I want to spend this time talking about uh, Seafood Ripsky and what he is capable of doing. This show is probably going to go, uh, if, it's, if it produces well and it looks well, and I don't really care what people think about it, because most if not, this guy's a gatekeeper. He's a gatekeeper keeper of information, and gatekeepers put out information that only few can actually understand anyway. So that being said, this show is probably going to go on his website with regard to uh, showing and letting every people know what he's capable of teaching. And he is going on a lecture tour. He's opening himself up to a collegiate lecture tour uh, with, uh, at Academia or the, 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 uh, uh, the Academia um, uh, area or Academia uh, Academy. Academia Academy. He's going to he's going to look for the traditional Chinese medicine academies in Canada and the United States, most likely in the United States. And he's going to do some seminar work. But the stuff he's going to teach, well, this is the stuff that he's going to teach. This is the stuff. Okay, this is what he's going to be teaching you. He's going to be showing you what he's talking about. Now you got to listen to this show. I'm talking about people who are actually looking this guy up. Look him up. You want to look him up. He's the man. But what you also want to do, because of course the information he's talking about, a guy 70, 80 years old probably put this out. So this guy's 40 years old, and he's a white man, and he's from Canada, okay? Eh? He's from Canada, eh? And you might look at the guy and say, what the hell is he? It's like Domo Mitchell. You see Domo, he looks like he's some kid, he's 18 years old. You say, who's this guy? He's what's called a prodigy, okay? <laughs> okay, this cat's a prodigy. And he's a, he's, if, if they have treasures in the East, He's one of our treasures. Why do I know that? Well, I'm, my Kung Fu ain't that great, 
Okay, because I, I, and I make it that way purposely. I don't care what anybody says because I want to learn. And I've been doing this stuff. I'm 50, 56, 57 years old. Okay, and the guy, the stuff this guy's teaching me, I'm gonna use it. Now I'm gonna use it. Okay, believe me, your asses need to use it. This is stuff that's gonna keep you alive. It's gonna keep you, I'm gonna say it three times, but three times the number. First time said, it's gonna keep you alive last time. This will keep you alive. And if you come see this cat at the university, the lecture tour that we're gonna try to put together, or you ask for this guy to come teach you, he's gonna help you stay alive. Yes, you gotta have the commitment to do the exercises, but to tell you the truth, it ain't that hard. It's a matter of commitment to doing something, and guess what, you can't do it so, oh, superficial, oh, I wanna see myself get better, no. You're gonna do it every day, and about 10 years from now, somebody's gonna say, yo, man, what's up? Uh, I almost didn't recognize you, why not? Well, because before you had lines in your face, okay, your eyes were bloodshot, you walked with a stoop, and your ass couldn't even bend over and touch your damn, your hips, let alone your knees. I watched you pick a piece of paper up in one swipe. Instead of sitting on a chair, you sat on the floor in one movement, <laughs> okay? And we, we, I watched you out there to this parking lot, you got a pimp in your walk. Who at 70 years old got a pimp in their walk? You got a pimp in your walk, like you was 20, ready to take on the world. What the hell are you on and how can I get it? Well, guess what? This is it. This is that, that they, as the South would say, this is that there of it. Okay. I mean, I never believed this stuff until I met my teacher and saw him get older and older and nothing changed. And change. nothing changes. <laughs> Last but not least, Neil, and I'm, I mean, I'm, just, I'm not just talking, please get back to me. You really don't know if your internal work is working until it's working. Now, what does that mean? It means I started in my 30s, I'm 60 or I'm 50, and I'm doing this stuff, most of the stuff, that I was doing when I was in my 30s and 20s. I ain't stopped. As a matter of fact, I'm hanging with me, me personally. I picked this up, I'm gonna pick this up, but I run up and down hills with my son. My son's eight years old. I run up and down the hill. That's all I do, I just love it. A little bit of soreness, a little bit of work, get it nice and good to go. And the last but not least, I was injured. I had a yin deficiency um, this week this, because I had a lack, of, a lack of commitment to exercises that I needed to have. Okay, and diet that I needed to have. And I went back and healed myself. I had people help me and I got healed. But that being said, okay, I will never go off that regimen anymore because the older I get, the more consequences are when I get off of it. Okay, there's a lot of consequences if you just decide I'm gonna stop. Okay, everything reverses. Everything reverses, okay? And also the last but not least, little thing, pre-heaven. Remember what Sifu Neil talked about that in his first show. He says, the pre is kind of like your, your stories that you give them at birth, okay? If you keep borrowing from it when you're younger, you're gonna feel it when you're older. This stuff is gonna get your post heaven, which is make your body strong again so you can start rebuilding up that story. They say you can't get back. Only through esoteric exercise can you get it back. Bringing in heaven, okay, and doing the exercise right. This is how it's done. Can you reverse? Can you reverse, okay, your aging process? Of course you can. Am I right, Sifu? We'll see, it looks like it to me. <laughs> Sifu says we'll see. I'm gonna say it straight up. Having experienced it, yes, I was an ex-airborne ranger. I, got, I left the rangers freaked up. I was messed up. Heart problem, neck problem, Cholesterol problem. Couldn't walk up a flight of stairs. Okay? You see my videos. Okay? And I don't know all the stuff that I know now. That I'm gonna practice now. Why? Because of the Tai Chi connection. <laughs> because of Temple Underground Radio and Temple Underground Magazine. Sifu, is there anything else you wanna leave with as far as outlining what the next show will be about? Well, my plan is to continue on. Like I said, I wanna document this system so I want to I want to put it all out yes, I'm going to give everything out there so yeah. we'll continue from there we'll start talking about the golden thread Dantian and the golden thread which we never got to today we'll start talking about oh, how Dantian
can affect the heart and uh, aging processes and yeah we'll, we'll go right into it I'll, I'll continue doing this in as many parts as needed until we've got it and as far as you know uh, G's helping me set up doing some speaking and, and training in the states I really want to I really want to keep this stuff alive and this is this is the angle we're going with we're gonna we're gonna try to keep the 18 Lohan Palm and uh, the three treasures alive so if anybody's interested feel free to contact you contact me we'll get yeah. it all set up don't feel free do it don't if you're not doing it like this if you're not doing it you're bullshit I don't care what you say you're BS okay the guy it's not gonna be that much money okay it may be something I mean, what's 150 bucks or $200, okay, for three or four days of work that you're gonna be able to buy a video, you're gonna be able to get a book, you're gonna be able to get notes, you're gonna be able to touch the guy get video, and see and be able to practice this every day. And I'm getting, here's a fire. I'm guaranteeing you. If you do this stuff, you're gonna start reversing everything. Now, don't get me wrong. There's other things you gotta do. The first thing you gotta do, tell Neil, hook me up with this one. You're supposed to have, first of all, you're supposed to be seeing your doctor. You're supposed to be seeing your 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 out and out like your traditional Chinese medicine doctor. First go see your Western doctor. Find out what's wrong with you. Then go see your traditional Chinese medicine doctor and fix the damn thing. And fix it, okay? If you can if it can be done before, there's a, a if it can be done before um, there is disruption to the organ, you can fix it. Okay, there are certain organs, once it gets to a certain part, you can't do it. Let me let you some of the information that I've learned so far. Doc, uh, uh, professor, hook me up on this one. Uh, up diseases. Did you, can you believe that brain cancer is up? Why has brain cancer been up in the last 15 to 25 years? Because the brain is made mostly of fat. One of the other diseases that's up so far is lung disease. <laughs> okay, other diseases up so far are gallbladder and liver ailments. Why are these things related? Because the lung and the liver are related. If the lung is not rested properly, it cannot access the limbic system to produce white blood cells. Those white blood cells aid the liver in cleansing the body. If the liver cannot cleanse the body with a liquid soluble uh, uh, breakdown of the toxins, the toxins become sludge. It'll do what it can. It'll push those toxins into your fat. The brain is made of 50% fat. Brain cancer goes up because you got nasty shut in your fat. You need fat, people. Fat's what runs your brain, okay? All this stuff's related. Kidney failure, once the kidneys go, everything else goes. Kidney failure is up. People are removing their gallbladders because of the sludge. Inability, to, it's so much stuff happening and it's not because, don't, don't blame the industry. Come on, man, come on. Tell them, tell them, Doc, tell them, Professor, there's so much information out there, it's ridiculous. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Lots of info. There's a lot of information out there. Do you have, you guys, we're calling ourselves martial artists, right? We're calling ourselves adepts, okay? Some of us are obese. Some of us are not in shape. Some of us cannot walk up a hill without breathing hard. Some of them can't stand, some of them, can't, some of them if they walk next to uh, Professor Chen, would look like a freaking old man, okay? Don't get me wrong, Professor Chen is not the superior one. He is not the star. The star is, and, and always will be, the skills and the methods to gain those skills. That's what we're offering. Sifu is not, a, he's a, it's not about him. It's about the, re, he's the resource that we can use to get the information. Now, when you pay the man, you're not paying him to make him rich. This man ain't rich. You're paying this guy, okay, so for his time and so he can eat. He is dedicated to getting this information out because he knows a simple truth. You cannot change the world. This is impossible. What you can change is you and then watch the world change. And if enough people have what you have in sharing and giving, enough change can happen. The world can change. It has changed. It can change more. That's what he's about. That's what we're all about. That's what Temple Underground Mag is about. It's about cats like him. They got all this information and nobody knows about it. But we're looking at Kung Fu Magazine and stuff like that. They're talking stuff. I mean, it's some good stuff. But is it keeping us alive? Hell no. And here's the bottom part. You can't fight effectively until your body is healthy. We're talking about the super duper stuff. Let me tell you something about Professor Chen. I never met him. 
His ability to hit you is the least you got to worry about with this man. I'm gonna tell you that straight up. He got things. He got other skills that are the result of becoming and becoming a more passionate and compassionate person. Okay, which martial science does. All this stuff makes you into a compassionate monster. Where being in your presence, people just feel that energy and they know bullshit just is not gonna happen. Even if it does, they're gonna be an enemy to it because you are not gonna be able to deal with it. This man walks into a room, the whole fucking place lights up. When Neil walks into, when you meet Neil Ripsky, I'm telling you, okay, you're gonna feel a difference. Not because he's Neil Ripsky, but because of the lessons that he's learned from Professor, from, from Professor Chen in Atlanta G. Holes. Anything else, that's, that's how I'm looking at it. That's why I'm going on it. Anybody else got any questions? Sifu, talk to me, talk to me. Did that say it all? I miss anything. No, it sounds really good. <laughs> okay, lecture tour, look out for it. Okay, call this cat, get him going. 150, 200 bucks. 12, 20 people, four to five days. He's on it, you got it, you own it, he's gone. You follow him for more information. He's gonna go to at least four, five, six, seven places in the fall, at least that, if not more. Then he's going to Europe, then he's coming back for, the, for after Christmas, he's gonna do some more work, okay? He's gonna teach this stuff. You're gonna meet him, you're probably gonna meet me, okay? You're gonna meet all these cats who are doing stuff like this. You'll see me standing on my head and standing on one arm, the crazy crap that I do, okay? Okay, but I'm gonna do it even better because I'm studying this man's method and adding it to my kit. And that's what it's all about. Am I right, Sifu? You got it. it. That's all right, brother, about. all right, bro. Hey, we're gonna leave right now. Um, guys, thank you so much for sitting by. Please stand by for the commercials and the music that are gonna continue on. Okay, great new music, new albums and stuff, great new stuff there. Hey, did you know that one of the manifestations of C. Ripsky's uh, powers is that he's a musician? That's right, he's a musician, and he's working on his stuff right now. Okay, he's got a band and everything, though. The band's gonna suffer because he's going on the road. But when he gets to me, okay, what do you play, by the way? What do you play? I'm the drummer. He's the drummer? Well, we're gonna get, we're gonna, I guess we'll get him in the studio down here in Atlanta, okay, and pump some stuff out with him. All right, brother. That's cool. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see y'all later. Thanks a lot, Sifu. you deserve. Have you been training hard and long, but have very little recognition to show for it? Trained in multiple locations, only to be pushed back or frozen in achieving your goals? Look no further. The World Martial Arts College offers credit for all your efforts and experiences in martial arts. You submit credit for your experiences that you have received at various schools, certificates, seminars attended, books read, videos watched, tournaments you may have competed in, and any other form of training or educational experience related to martial arts. Turn it in to get certified accredited rank by the World Martial Arts College. Visit the World Martial Arts College website for various sanctioned seminars, our weekly sanctioned official radio blog, Temple Underground Radio, and read our officially sanctioned magazine. Temple Underground Magazine and Journal. Go to various workshops and events to further your training and experience. Get credit and recognition for all of your experiences. Receive school consultations and assistance in marketing your programs. The World Martial Arts College, in affiliation with the Tai Chi Connection, also gives access to our officially recognized radio, Temple Underground Radio, and our magazine, Temple Underground Magazine and Journal, for you to share the experiences with others in the world. Website and book publishing assistance is also available. Become a member of one of the most prestigious martial arts organizations today. Visit www.worldmartialartscollege.com. That's www.worldmartialartscollege.com. Thank you.